many people, fall means the end of hot summer days as temperatures begin to cool and trees begin to lose their leaves. During this time of year, the cooler temperatures have many people spending time outdoors, enjoying the weather, or playing sports. Fall also means it's ragweed season, which affects millions of people. Ragweed is considered to be the most significant allergy trigger in fall, although there are other plants that also release pollen during this time of year. Depending on where a person lives, ragweed pollen may be present from August through November. Mold is another common outdoor allergen during the fall. Piles of damp leaves or other organic material make for an ideal place for mold to grow and release spores into the air. When people who are allergic to these substances come into contact with them, their immune system releases antibodies that attack the allergens. Histamines are released into the body and trigger the allergic reaction common to so many people. In fact, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention reports that allergies are the sixth leading cause of chronic illness in the U.S., with an annual cost in excess of $18 billion, and that more than 50 million Americans suffer from allergies each year. Both pollen and mold spores can travel great distances in the outdoor air. This can be especially true during windy fall days. These air quality contaminants can be a concern to both people spending time outdoors and even those indoors, as these allergens can enter homes and buildings through open doors and windows, on people's clothes, and through air intakes and HVAC systems. For some people, these same airborne allergens can even trigger an asthma attack. For those who experience allergies all year long, they should also consider possible indoor allergens they may be exposed to on a regular basis. Common indoor contaminants include mold, dust mites, pet dander, latex, insect, and rodent allergens. These are just a few things to know about fall allergies. To learn more about allergens or other indoor air quality, environmental, health, and safety issues, please visit the website shown on the screen. IAQ-TV, the place to be.